What's going on everyone? It is a BEA beautiful day out today. So I figured we'll look at the chicken ranch here, the Steenfot chicken ranch. A lot of people have been requesting it, but for all the fish nerds out there, don't worry. We will be taking a look at a couple tubs I have set out here and also a pretty sweet pond. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna step all the way back here, get a full view of this chicken area. Kind of uh, starts on the other side of that, all through here. Got apple trees, plum trees, grapes, uh, more grapes over here. Up through here is a ton of blueberries. We got a rooster sitting over here. Obviously you can hear all the chickens. This is the chicken area and it's all fenced off. So we'll just step on over that because chickens are dumb and uh, don't know how to jump over that. All right, so we're inside now. You can see this is where they give themselves some dirt baths, all kinds of grass and bugs, everything to eat. There's some nesting boxes out here, blueberries, raspberries throughout here, a few different types of raspberries. On the other side there, blueberries. It looks like we've got a robin up there, maybe in that nest box. I doubt it, but maybe. All the blueberries are fenced off so the chickens can't get to them. And uh, this is where I get my blueberries to put in my custom dog food that I make. Here is the main chicken coop. Now the fun thing about this coop is it's made almost entirely of all scrap wood. I don't know, but I find that kind of neat. We'll step in here and check for some eggs. Water is looking pretty good over here. Food's still full. I don't know, there's one rooster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 12 chickens in here total. Uh, we got a fake egg there. Fake egg in there. Oh, one or both of these might be real. Okay, there's one fake one. One real one. Set that up here. Looks like we got a couple over here too. One of these is fake. Yeah, there's the fake one. You'd be surprised. Those fake eggs, they trick me sometimes. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You think I have some food for you? I don't. No food. All right. Oh, we got a nester down here. We'll leave her alone. Looks like we got three eggs down here. Yesterday, I grabbed about uh, six eggs out of here. So we're getting between, I don't know. Oh, I'll just say six to eight eggs a day. How about that? <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, out of here, and I'm actually, I'm not going to take these up yet because we're going to walk around. So I'll hide them back in here and uh, come back and grab them later. Pretty neat little area. Solar lights up here. And uh, obviously place for them, multiple places for them to roost. And uh, the bedding gets changed out a lot. <laughs> so... Quite the chore. Come out here. Now normally they get free roam. Welcome. And uh, But I'm not going to be here all day so I won't be here to kind of usher them all in at dusk. But they'll roam all through this area here. You can see the whole area is fenced off. We've got a, uh, a rooster over here by himself. Oh, look it up there. There it goes. A turkey. A wild turkey. He uh, or she roosts up there every night. Uh, not wild, an escapee. An escapee. Uh, one one um, lonely rooster in here. Looks like we got water and food in there for him. We're good there. Here are the turkey grow outs. <laughs> Um, pretty big, almost, uh, almost big enough to move on. Four of them in here, and then the one that got loose. Uh, that one that got loose has been out for months and months and months now, and just has free roam. Uh, have a little water dish set up over here. Get some, uh, fresh water in here. I already put out some food for them.
And okay, what else we got? Look at, look at all of these. Oh man, I cannot wait for these to be arrived. They are so good. Anyways, moving on here, moving on. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this next pen here, if I remember correctly. It is empty. And we got a few more pens outside of the chicken area here. Oh my God. Always gotta stop and get one of these bad boys when you walk past here. Oh, not quite ripe, but still good. Huh. A little sour, but good. Mm. Very nutritious. Here we got a pear, a rooster, and a hen. Some bee boxes. As you can see, I don't know, maybe you saw bees coming in and out of there. Got a lot of plugged holes here, so looks to be working. It's hard for me to focus through the wire. There we go. Oh, looks like we got water there. Water and food looks good here. A nesting box in there. Next up we got this, which is for fry, or I guess chicks. We're not talking about fish yet, but uh, this is a small little 8x4 pen uh, in the winter. You can put the glass on here and there's the heat lamps in here. Keeps it nice and warm for the chicks. And then here we have the new addition, the Snowflake Bob White Quail, which I think are just really cool looking. They're nice and slow. I don't want to scare them too much. They're not laying yet. Uh, they've only been here for, I don't know, maybe a month. So, not fully grown yet either, but getting pretty close. We'll take a look. We'll open this door so we can see them without the wire. Of course, they're going to scatter back there, but... But I think they're really neat. Like I said, never seen this variant before. And uh, still still pretty shy. So, we'll give them, give them a little space, a little more time. Maybe check back in on them a little later. Here you kind of get another overview of the whole area here. And again, most all of this uh, is made just from scrap wood. Uh, there's multiple uh, building companies around here, fencing companies, and they all leave like scrap leftover wood out in front of their gates and you can just come by and pick it up. And that's, this, that's how almost this whole thing was built. Uh, you know, there is, you obviously gotta buy some stuff, but most all this is just DIY from scrap wood material. Pretty, pretty awesome if you ask me. And then we got this here too. Like every, everything here is from scrap. That's an old sliding glass door out of a 58 foot yacht. And you'll see there's uh, port windows in here as well. There you go, up there, taken out of a boat. <laughs> Fun fact about me, used to build that 58 foot yacht. So I got a lot of scrap parts laying around. And uh, there you go. That's why that's why we got that stuff. Now we can get more uh, fish related here. Walk over to the pond, which is pretty low this time of year, but that's to be expected. We are in the dead of summer and not getting a lot of rain. Oh, I was gonna say walk out slowly, but uh, I kind of screwed that up. Oh, there's a bullfrog. Lots of bullfrogs in here. And there, there are some fish in here, probably not going to see them. Uh, I did see some fry last time, but uh, not seeing anything now. Uh, it's still about three to four feet deep in the middle. And uh, just look at these lilies are gigantic. They're pretty dang awesome. There's some flowering over here. And uh, of course the dreaded duckweed just cannot get away from this stupid duckweed no matter what but luckily it's not just taking over the entire pond uh, fish wise like i said there are fish in here there's some crappie and some uh, rainbow trout but yeah you see the old dock on the other side the water level gets right up to the bottom of that dock like in the winter uh, i mean you can see how high up we are over the water well maybe might be kind of hard to tell i don't know now we can Come back out and check out the, the couple of tubs I have set up out here. Alright, so here's the, the, the only tubs I have set up out here. These are the platinum rice fish that uh, there was just hundreds of fry in here. And uh, we had that big heat wave where it got 110 degrees and that was pretty much the end of the fry. Luckily the adults survived. And we had this whole thing like shaded. Um, everything we can do 
but they just didn't make it. And I haven't seen fry ever since. But it's only been about a week and a half since we had that 110 degree heat. So it'll probably drop some more eggs here pretty soon. Next up we got, uh, and this is a 300 gallon, obviously water level is pretty low, but if it was full close to 300, this is a 100 gallon uh, Rubbermaid tote. And as you can see, I never have luck with Java fern outside. And as you can see there, it is melting. And then I believe this is foxtail. I could be wrong. This stuff's actually growing pretty well. It's kind of wrapping up around the wood. Uh, like I said, just had a lot of sun here lately. And algae bloom is what we get. There's trout goodyids in here and red crystal shrimp. Although we're not going to be able to see them. I've never really had luck with Anubias outside either. No, it's just not doing good. This is just out of an aquarium where it was doing well and it's just getting too much sun. I'm going to put it over here towards the edge. There's also a red flame sword or a red ruben. I don't remember. And this one is actually looking really good. Look at that. Nice reds, kind of purple on the leaves. One of my favorite sword plants. And these are both just in easy planters because it's easy. The substrate in here is crushed coral. Uh, actually, no, aragonite. Basically almost the same thing. I just think aragonite looks better. So I do hope to just kind of continue down the line here and keep adding more and more of these tubs and totes. I do have a few more to move over here eventually. And uh, I think it'll be fun just having a bunch of outdoor totes. I mean, what's not fun about outdoor ponds, right? But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick view of the chickens, getting a lot of requests for them. I guess uh, chickens and fish, a lot of people have both. So there you go. But otherwise, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment down below if you wanna see kind of more in-depth chicken videos. Uh, not very often though, this is a fish channel. So we gotta kinda of limit the chicken content, but might do it again, might, might uh, go a little bit more in-depth. But let me know down below and I'll see you on the next one.